Welcome to the shooting show. This week we're rough shooting at the Burt Magnus estate looking for a bag of mixed game. Pheasant, snipe, woodcock, it's a mixed day and we'll make the most of it. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. Chris a ring was all there wasn't one a bunch of glass of it was in Florida as well then. Yeah. Back at all, though. Back at all. Back at all, then. Yeah, well, it's all right. Shooting the pigeon wet just as any ducks. I mean, long enough. Yeah, yeah. Just wet for ducks. I know, but I don't know. There might be a long life. I don't know, but other than that, yeah. Yeah. Like everything goes. Yeah. Yeah. I know, yeah. 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 Shoot till the cooks get up. Wood cock was perfect. Hey, a flipping woodcock. Sorry, a flipping woodcock. Happy? Okay. We're doing a, a wild truck drive uh, for the first beat this morning. So there'll be a lot of teal in here. Uh, as long as nothing scared them off this morning before we've got here. Uh, so it should be uh, quite intense action for five, ten minutes or so, uh, as long as they all don't go off in one cloud. So, pretty excited really. Save all the woodcock pin feathers out of sheep. Yeah, that was interesting. Three woodcock came out perfect and uh, wasn't allowed to shoot them until the ducks got up, so I had to let them go, but uh, it took some self restraint, I'll tell you. Uh, then the ducks went off, woodcock came through, snapshot, got him, followed by another one, missed that one, and then uh, managed to get two teal uh, and shared one with Andy. So, yeah, really good. All wild game, fantastic. 
Yeah. Yeah. Andy there with a the woodcock, I think. Yeah, straight up. Whoa. That was zinging, wasn't it? Yeah. Always difficult when you're still in trees. Always difficult. Um, you have to just completely blank the trees out, but it makes for a good excuse, doesn't it? Um, no, with only five guns, we're covering it quite well at the moment. Hey! Hey! Clean boots? Yeah, get the boots clean. got a lot of shooting. In fact, I didn't do too well though. I'm stuck in a load of uh, ploughing that's like concrete and uh, facing into the sun. I was really struggling, all the excuses. Shot two nice pheasants though, real screaming hen pheasant and uh, probably missed half a dozen, maybe seven, eight or so. Ten. But I didn't do particularly well, let's put it that way. Good job! Good job! You're in your keep today, Bells. Coming back. Yeah, so just uh, this is kind of the finale of the day and yeah, it takes an afternoon to do it. It's a popular plantation, so the trees are quite high. It's very marshy. The only thing that will grow here is willow and poplar. Uh, so the poplars are really there for uh, matches originally, I believe. Uh, but uh, a lot of the estate pheasants that get onto the boundary end up in here. So it's, uh, it's, quite, it's quite good for a mixed uh, sort of walked up day. Usually plenty of woodcock, although there's not 
a lot of evidence of them today. Uh, so there's quite a lot of uh, pheasants. So we started off pretty good. Uh, I've shot three, three pheasants, uh, four pheasants actually. So it's it's uh, pretty good. That's what I like to see, sharing, yeah? Sharing. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, no. Sharing is caring. And it's half plucked, it'll be easy to take there with. What happened to your second battle? No! Well, I'd share it with you. Oh, hey! I'm good, lad. Yep. Them two can stop at that side. I don't know whether you want Andy in because we've had a lot of shooting up there. Right. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do. What's the standing wood? Yeah, one in wood and one just on edge. Yeah. And then you three you want to be back in here though, yeah. don't you? Yeah, back in here. Stood. Well just leave them as they are, just turn them round. Yeah. Uh, that's the second uh, day finished at uh, Burton Agnes. Our two days back to back refuting. Uh, fantastic two days. Uh, we finished really well. <laughs> the, the weather came nice and fine. Uh, mud was a little bit sticky. Uh, but yeah, you know, we finished up with uh, 57 head for five guns. Uh, mixed bag again. Uh, pheasants, partridges, woodcock, pigeon, uh, duck, uh, snipe, and uh, a hare. Uh, the duck or uh, teal, which were very fast and sporting as ever. Uh, so now another fantastic, uh, fantastic two days. Well, that was a fantastic mixed day at Burton Agnes Estate there. And now it's the shooting show news. This is the Shooting Show News. It's time for shooters and gamekeepers to get involved in conserving the grey partridge. The GWCT is calling for involvement in its partridge count scheme, which kicks off again this spring. To get involved, you just need to count grey partridges on a selected area in a few hours after dawn or late evening. It doesn't matter if you only have a few partridges, every bird is important. Check out the GWCT website for more information. Moreland fires are in the news again after a blaze on Marsden Moor last week. Shooting groups said it was likely that the National Trust, which owns the moor, had increased the risk of wildfire by refusing to participate in controlled burning. Basks Ian Grindy said gamekeepers use restoration burning to reduce fire risk. Their hands-on experience is being ignored by the regulators. As a result, we will see more fires and further damage to the uplands. With barely over two months to go until the Northern Shooting Show, we've learned more about the big brands that will be present. 
Bagara, Beretta, Blaza, Browning, Hainal, Merkel, Parazzi, Remington, Tika, Seiko, Isawa and Zolli are among the gun brands set to exhibit at the show, with many bringing their international stands straight from EWA. On the clay line, there'll be a 50-bird sporting competition, with a Browning 525 up for grabs. And don't forget that under-16s will get free entry to the show. And finally, if you're planning a sporting foray to Scotland this year, get some inspiration with Shooting Scotland, out now. This all-new collection of knowledge and tales from the field covers every form of shotgun and rifle sport north of the border, from stags on the hill to ducks at the flight pond. There's also legal advice, kit roundups and detailed lists of sporting providers and shooting-friendly places to stay. Grab your copy in newsagents or by heading to myfavouritemagazines.co.uk. That was the Shooting Show News. Well that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.